Has anyone been to Australia? Kangaroos can be quite scary. Hands up if you like pineapple on pizza. Who's your least favourite race driver who races against you? Don't say ballet shoes. You lost me at Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. I think it's exactly like a baby seat. Yeah, exactly. I feel I'm pretty good with kids. As long as I can give them back at the end of the day, then I'm, I'm normally pretty good. What do you think about the job of being a Formula One driver? Does it look really difficult? Yeah, yeah. and the, the buttons and the, the cars buttons. look like bigger on like here, but on TV they look like smaller. Hey kids. What's going on? You good? Yes! Wow, I feel like a school teacher. <laughs> have you seen one of these before? No. Yes. Well, some of you have. A Formula One car. This is like my job, which is kind of crazy, right? But because they go fast and they're a little bit dangerous, we got to wear a helmet. <laughs> this protects our head and it looks cool as well. Yeah. It looks like what you put on a donut. <laughs> I know you kind of want to eat it, right? I've got a race suit in here, which matches the color of the car. And it's like a onesie, yeah. So I sometimes sleep in it as well. <laughs> I don't really. And then race boots. Don't say ballet shoes. <laughs> Kids stay are quiet, switched on. You guys can ask me any questions you want. Being humiliated by a person like a third of your age is also quite <laughs> intimidating. Do you have to have uh, many seat belts in a car? Like there's like straps, aren't they? Exactly. Over. So there's one across our waist, one over each shoulder. So there's like a middle buckle and they all go into the same buckle. Like in a baby seat and you have to buckle. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think it's exactly like a baby seat. Yeah, exactly. Do you ever get claustrophobic in your helmets when you're doing it for like a long time? Some of my friends will like put my helmet on. After like a minute, they're like, okay, take it off. I think because I've been doing it since I was so young, it feels normal for me. I actually sometimes just walk around with a helmet. Like I'm in the city and just doing like supermarket shopping. <laughs> Does yeah. your car need petrol or diesel or like, what does it need to drive? That's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a fuel of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> I think we use a special type of race fuel. I'm gonna just go with this one. How many parts do you like have in one big car? I don't know the actual answer, but it's over a hundred thousand. It's a lot. There's so many little like nuts and bolts as well and screws. And if it's not a hundred thousand, it's, I feel it's very close. Have you like won any competitions? And if you have, like how many? Of course I have. I've won seven races, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't enough to win the championship. But I have held trophies and shake champagne and done all that. <laughs> so that's fun. What's the fastest speed you've ever gone at? I think it was like 230 miles per hour. Pretty fast. Cool. Yeah. What was your longest race you've ever driven? I think it was Singapore. So it's about two hours. Wow. Two hours in that, it's really uncomfortable. You get a really sore bottom after. Who's your least favorite race driver who races against you? <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Don't like any of them at all. I guess my least favorite is the guy that's winning because I want to beat him. Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> I got no problem with Lewis. He's been winning like the last quite a few years. Yeah, 800. <laughs> so he's like the guy I want to beat the most because he's winning. Have you ever like beaten Sebastian Vettel or Lewis Hamilton? I have. Give it to me. Yes. Sebastian was actually my teammate in 2014. So I beat him that year, which was cool. And then Lewis, I've beat a few times, but not enough. I need to get him. I'm old, but I'm not that old. I could still put myself in their shoes and remember what it was like, me being at school. And yeah, I think to have that experience and to be able to ask questions at, at kind of free will, it's pretty cool. What's like your favorite film? Have you ever heard of Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. yeah. Jim Carrey, that was one of my favorite films growing up. 
How about you? What's your favourite? I have to say Star Wars. <laughs> Star, all right, yeah, I've never Star watched Wars Star Wars. I think you should watch it. Yeah, really I should, good. right? They made the fourth one first, and then they went yeah. and made the first one, the second one, and the third one after they'd made yeah, that. You lost me at Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite food? Oh, good one. They keep an eye on what we eat, so i got to be careful what I say here. Salad. Salad. <laughs> no, I, um, favourite food. I really like pizza and we race in Italy as well and Italy do the best pizza. You have a diet that you have to eat. So I'll be like, let's say strict five days a week and then maybe say on weekends I might allow myself to have maybe a bit of pizza or something, mm. yeah. Fortunately I love like vegetables, salads and all the kind of healthy things so even when I'm eating naughty, I still probably have some good food in the naughty food. Pepper on your pizza. A pepper on my pizza, yeah. Do you want to be my dietitian? <laughs> Do you like pineapple on pizza? I'll eat it. I'll definitely eat it. Hands up if you like pineapple on pizza. And if you don't like it, a few. All right, so pineapple wins. Before a race, do you ever get nervous? The nerves is like an excitement to go. Those nerves create like a lot of energy. What do you get nervous for? I get nervous for like just if, if something really big about to happen. Yeah. and I'm just about to like run a race or something. Funny story on running races, race cars are really loud, but as a kid, I was scared of loud noises. At the start of our running race at the school carnival, when like the gun goes off, I would stand there with my, with my fingers in my ears. So my reaction was always really bad. I would start like quite a long way off. Have you ever crashed and broken any bones? I've crashed in the race car. I didn't break any bones in the race car crash, but I fell off my bike and broke my wrist. But no race car ones, which is good. Do you name your cars? Do I name my cars? Good question. I don't. I know one of the drivers does. It's a German driver, Sebastian Vettel. I don't know if he's like superstitious, but he always needs to name it. I started racing cars or go-karts because I loved just driving and the speed and everything was really fun for me. I didn't actually do it because I wanted to be famous or I wanted to make money or I wanted to be on TV. It was just because I loved it. Now I am on TV and these other things, but the main thing I do it is still because I love it. Find something that you love and it doesn't matter or if you're on TV, if you're not on TV, it's like if you really enjoy being whatever that is, then that's, that's the most important. I've never done anything like that. I feel like the back of my knees are like sweaty and stuff. So you just never know with kids. You never know what they're going to ask. So who's your new favorite driver, Daniel or Lewis? Daniel, ooh. Do you think you'd make a good teacher? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> He'd probably just, he'll probably just drive the car into the building and then take us all on a joyride, but you know. We might go eat pizza around the room. <laughs> I was pretty cheeky at school. Like I was in detention a bit. I was mischi mischievous, mischievous. My teachers look at me now and they're like, ah, oh, he, he turned out okay, I hope. He'd be good for us, but maybe not for our education. Yeah. 